Hi, my name is Campbell Prince from the PyApp Language Software Group. In this session we're going to be looking at uh, debugging PHP using the Eclipse IDE. There's a few things you need to have set up before we can do this session. You need to have uh, VirtualBox set up, running Debian 6, running PHP 5.3 with the Zen debugger installed. You should be able to see the PHP info page and here we've got that at the URL here. And the important thing to note is with Zen Debugger 5.3. We have another session dedicated to getting this far. So if you haven't got this far, go and have a look at that movie and make sure that you can see the Zen Debugger 5.3 right here. Okay. Now we'll switch over to Eclipse. And we need to write ourselves some. Um, a uh, small PHP test file. So I'll just go new PHP file. I'll call it testdebug.php. Uh, something pretty trivial. Dollars a equals forty. Dollars a equals dollars a plus two. If dollars a is greater than or equal to 40 say echo more than 40 else echo this and 40 okay now I hope you notice the syntax highlighting going on there and the little um, real-time error checking just a feature of the Eclipse IDE very very useful okay so let's save that now we want to debug this okay so the best way given that you're going to be debugging um, a particular file or set of files often and typically your application as such has only a single entry file it's convenient to set up a debug configuration and we can do that here, there's debug configurations. And that's done down here. So we want to be a PHP web page. There's a little picture of a server that indicates it's remote. When we say remote, we just mean at another IP address. And remember we've got this uh, virtual host network going on with between our host on Windows and our Debian VirtualBox guest. So we'll make a new configuration. We'll call it our uh, test debug on Debian 6. Okay. I've already set up um, a PHP server here, but you can add a new one. Uh, the server, I've just given it a name, uh, but I've given it the URL where we get to the document root, so that's nothing after it, it's just the address only. That's the document root. There we go. So languageforge.local. And you can set up a path mapping what on the server maps to uh, this location on the source. Okay. Uh, we're using the Zen debugger, or xdebug, and we can test the debugger. Success! Yes, yeah, so it's just done a little round trip. It's gone out to the dummy.php file on the server and it's uh, pinged back to our server host here and that round trip communication works fine. That's good. Okay, we're looking for a file to debug. We choose test debug. Okay. And it's had a go at auto-generating the URL and it's got it quite wrong. Um, it's actually... That's what it would be. Okay, now we can go test debug. And we can see that we've uh, broken on the first line because we set that up. Now you can step past this in the usual way with F6. So we see some variables. A is 40 up here. A is now 42. We're going here. Yes, we're going into the right place. Cool. And 
finish up there. Uh, there's a browser output window here showing us what our browser output looks like. And you can actually, there is the, the URL um, which you can get from the browser output and you can run that through Firefox or uh, any other thing you like. It's a connection back uh, to the Zend debugger running in Eclipse. It's the important thing, not what browser you use to initiate the debugging. Okay, now we did see uh, when we now if we look here we can see that's um, now in our quick reference list so we can just click that and debug again but just looking at the debug configurations when we tested the debugger it said success now it's quite easy for things to go wrong at that stage so I'll just set up my environment to make it fail and show you what we can do to overcome that. Okay, sometimes when you go to test the debugger, things can go wrong. We're trying to communicate um, to the server and it's trying to call back to us on our host network address which is 56.1 and it can't do it. Sad. Okay. Now you can use the resource monitor in Windows 7. Let's bring that over here. Uh, we'll look at network and look at listening ports. Uh, now we notice that the Zen debugger uses port 10,000. Okay, so we can see that the listening executable is javaw.exe. Okay, so we've got javaw.exe. <coughs> and the firewall rule might say allowed not restricted or allowed restricted. Um, that kind of thing. So we'll just test the firewall and we'll just remember that we've got Java w.exe take care of. So we'll have a look at our network and sharing center. Okay, now notice that this virtual box host only network is a public network and it's unidentified. We can't actually identify it. It's a limitation of the tunnel adapter that they've used to implement the network. Um, it's not really known that well by Windows 7. So we're stuck with it appearing public, so we can't give it private privileges. So I'll we'll start up the Windows firewall. Very easy test is we don't need to worry about private in a way because we know it's um, it's public. Uh, so we want to turn the firewall off. So we'll just turn off the Windows firewall. Yes, we know it's not recommended. We'll come back here and we'll test the debugger. Yes, it worked. Okay, so we've got a firewall issue. So we'll turn that back on again, just to be safe. Now we can change, we'll go to advanced settings in the Windows firewall. If we have a look at these inbound rules, we see, okay, we've got these. Okay. Uh, disable. Let's get up. Okay. We've got the advanced firewall up. And sometime in the past, maybe it was open office or something, um, but we chose to block the Java W. So we'll change that to allow the connection for Java W. Here's two of them. So we'll allow that one. Uh, your rules may vary. There's all sorts of different rules. You can set up advanced rules to allow just the subnet and uh, so on. Really, uh, it's just to point out that there may be issues in the firewall and that's, that's the problem. So that's what needs sorting out. 
So we'll go back here, test the debugger, the firewall's now on, and we have success. Okay, that was a quick guide to debugging in PHP. Hopefully from there you'll be able to debug uh, your application.